to talk about something I don't see talked about enough in terms of going on some sort of growth journey, whether that's with your health or with your personal evolution, when you're really diving deep into changing something, like changing your patterns around you know, how you relate to yourself, that internal world, or your health, right? Changing everything. And it's when you don't have a support network. And not only do you not have a support network, but you actually have all the people around you not wanting you to do it. I don't see this talked about enough. So I thought I'd talk about it and I'm a little, I admit I'm a little hesitant to talk about it. Cause like, I don't want to like throw people under the bus <laughs> in my world, but that is what I experienced. Okay. So a little, I'm just going to be real because this is what happened. And I thought I'd share some wisdom because this is incredibly common because unless I'll focus this mostly on health when you have been eating a certain way and living a certain way and then you try to start changing that, chances are you are eating and living the way the people in your home, in your family, in your friend group, they all eat, they all do, right? And so when you start changing the rules, especially when you're making strides in your health, that can threaten a lot of people because it's like you're changing the rules on how we operate and you're also hitting me a little bit in my insecurities and now I'm going to start feeling like maybe you think you're better than me now or blah, blah, blah. All that shit comes up in people. And I see from working with people directly, sometimes somebody has an awesome spouse, supportive spouse, but I would say usually not. Most of the time not. And they have to deal with this stuff, right? And it's tough. And so I want to open up this conversation. So this is the analogy that I was thinking of. If you're trying to lift some weights, let's say you're trying to lift some dumbbells over your head, okay? And you have somebody going like this, helping you lift them, it's gonna be easier, right? Your chances of success are higher. And so if you are trying to lift some dumbbells over your head though, and somebody's pulling your arm down like this while you're doing it, if you can do it, you will get even stronger, correct? And so that's what I wanted to share with you guys that are making changes and you don't have support at home and you even have some resistance, some opposing forces, like don't change your habits, don't change your patterns. If you can show up for yourself, it is gonna be the ultimate challenge of that, of showing up for yourself. Can I show up for myself even when the people around me don't want me to do it? Can I still do it? You will be so much stronger as a result of that. Okay, and a couple things to look out for. One, it's hard enough on your own to change all your health habits and patterns. And so it can be very easy to blame your own mm, weakness there on those around you. Well, I can't because it puts out my husband or it puts out my wife or I can't because it's inconvenient to my kids or I can't. So watch for that in yourself, because that happens a lot, right? We are like, well, I would go to the gym, but, you know, <laughs> let me put it off on my family. So watch yourself on that one. And the second thing is like, when you are in that scenario, it's going to be the ultimate test of boundaries and self-love. So, okay, cool. I know that they don't want me to do this, but what do I need? How do I need to show up for myself here? Mm-hmm. And this is like a story that I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I feel bad because like my, my ex-husband and I have a good co-parenting relationship, so I don't want to like throw him under the bus, but I, I'll share this story because I just think the example of it is like pertinent to this conversation. So hopefully he doesn't mind. This is what happened. So, um, this was after I had already, like he was not supportive of my <laughs> journey. <laughs> I'm sorry. It just, it's just true. Um, and was kind of annoyed with it and all of that. And this was after I had already made significant strides. I had already built muscle. I'd already leaned out. I was like pretty deep in my journey. We were still married at the time and he wanted to go to Burger King. Okay. And take the kids to Burger King. I'll never forget this moment. And I was like, the last thing on earth I wanted to eat was Burger King at this point in my journey. Right. And so we went to Burger King and I was like, I'll just, I'm good. I'll just eat when I get home. Cause I'm looking at this menu. Like there's literally nothing I want to put in my body on this menu, you know? And, um, he said, Oh, what? You're too good for Burger King now. <laughs> and I hadn't really done any growth work yet. So I was just like, Oh no, I just want to eat later. But, but inside internally, I was like, Yes, I am. 
Yes, I am too good for Burger King. Yes, I am too good for Burger King. That's how I was sitting there feeling like it was like a moment for me. I was like, damn straight. Damn straight I'm too good for Burger King. I don't want to put this garbage in my body, you know? And I was sitting there thinking, why are we putting this in our kids' bodies? Like, I had a moment there, you know? And so if you are in that kind of scenario and you're getting met up with those kind of energies, just remember that their shit is their shit. They're responsible for their own emotions, feelings, reactions, all of that. And it's up to you if you're going to continue to show up for yourself despite their own shit that they're working through. Now, last thing I'll say in this whole conversation is I have found that sometimes the person making the health changes can be a little insensitive to the person, other, you know, maybe partner or spouse that isn't making health changes. Okay. And I I always tell my clients, I'm like, remember that you are changing the rules. Like everything has gone a certain way. I'm like, imagine that he, you didn't want to make any changes and he hired this health coach. And now all of a sudden he's like doing keto or personal growth work and going to the gym all the time. Like he would be changing the rules. Right. And so be sensitive to that. Right. Cause sometimes people can be like, screw you. I'm trying to make changes in my health. And you're like, you're all you're doing is, yet. you know, it's like this. So just be sensitive. Imagine that you were in their shoes and that will help not have so much like controversy or like self-protective type energy understand that yeah how would I feel if I was in their shoes and then you can can come up you can still show up for yourself but you can come across in more kindness empathy of like yeah I understand and I'm asking for your support as I make these changes and if they say no it's like okay well I'm going to make changes for myself whether you support it or not I would love if you could support me in this you know I understand that I'm doing things differently than we've always done but I would love you know, I'd love your support, but I'm just letting you know, I'm going to do this for me regardless. <laughs> and then just try to be as empathetic as you can, but don't let that stop you. Don't let that stop you from making changes. And remember like that analogy I shared in the beginning, like if you do have resistance in your home life, as you're making forward progress for yourself, just remember that if you can get through it, it's like that extra level of resistance and you're going to get stronger if you can overcome that, you know? So yeah, I just see this topic not brought up a lot because I think nobody really wants to say anything because it's like kind of personal and they don't want to like throw their partner under the bus or like, you know, but it is a very real thing when somebody's deciding to make changes for themselves. So I just thought I'd open up the conversation. Feel free to like leave in comments if you're watching this on the replay or whenever, like if you have any wisdom to share on this you know, um, any counsel or just, you know, even relatability of like, yeah, I get it is that is a tough thing. So anyway, just want to open that up. All right. You got it. Remember that your health, your life is up to you and you alone. It's up to you and you alone. You know, no one's going to no one's going to tell you, especially the people who love you. They don't give a shit, really. They're like, I, you know, just, I just love you. Like, they're not going to be like, okay, you got to start eating healthier. Not usually, right? They're just like, mm, whatever you want to do, you know, usually. And so remember, you got to show up for you. If you want to experience all that you possibly can at the highest levels in this life, like, you got to show up for you. And sometimes other people don't like that because it definitely hits on their insecurities or their just their comfort way of life, all of that. And so be as sensitive as you can, right? Understand what it, imagine you are them. That's the best way I can put it. Imagine that you didn't want to make changes and they were how you would feel and that will help you in your communication with them. Okay. All right. That's all I got. Much love guys. Bye.